Bulge Bracket, a private equity firm, Vobok Pinkus, is bullish on India and is aiming to also invest over a billion dollars this particular year. About 10% of its global allocation is in India, remember, one of the highest in terms of percentage to global portfolio by a foreign private equity firm. Now, over the years, it has been increasing the pace of its investments and could be investing about 7 to $8 billion this decade. One sector of choice is medical devices in India and globally for Warburg Pinkers. Now, in line with the wave of block deal exits by PE firms this year, well, Warburg Pinkers recently pared down its stake in IDFC First Bank. It's one of its, remember, over a decade old investment and it continues to hold a minority stake and remains bullish. As is the case with its oldest investment, Bharti Airtel, in which Warburg has halved its stake and continues to hold the rest to see the further upside in that company. Medplus, Kalyan Jewelers, PVR are some of its other return propositions. Now, in terms of the investments, it has recently really bought control in two unlisted companies, Vistar Finance, that is an NBFC lending to the MSME space. And Watertech is a differentiated consumption theme in the bath fitting segment. In fact, look at its portfolio in India. There are a bunch of diverse consumption led companies that Warburg has placed its bets on. Bharti Airtel is digital slash tech based consumption story, while Kalyan in jewelry, Biba in apparel, and there is even packaging, realty, tires, and even bath fittings. So really capturing growth from different kinds of products and pockets of the consumers. Now it has built a fairly large portfolio in new age companies. Car trade made its way to the IPO, but some of the others from this space are in the waiting for better market acceptability as well as valuation matrices for the startup world. But IPO exits and partial exits have been part of Warburg's India strategy. Now when we talk about healthcare is another favorite for PE investors in India and Warburg remains bullish on this space, especially the medical devices in which it's present via micro life investment. Now a large part of Warburg's portfolio is invested in financial services space and there are again like consumption very differentiated ideas that the private equity has invested in. Besides IDFC First Bank, there is housing finance, microfinance, insurance, tech-based service provider like CAMS, and even new addition with Star Finance in the MSME lending space. So all in all, Warburg Pincus remains bullish on its Indian investments.